Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can load in the user's image so that you can create a nice customized GUI that has their image and possibly their name. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. There's a bunch of different ways that you can use this, so feel free to customize it and change it if you want to. What I'm going to do in this example is create a little GUI down here at the bottom. So the back part is a frame, this is an image label, and this is a text label. So if you want to follow along with me, the first thing we're going to do is insert a frame into the game. To do that, we're going to start by clicking on UI. We're going to insert a screen GUI and then a frame. Go ahead and customize the frame to look however you want to. One thing I would recommend doing is changing the size property. So down here, we're going to make the second set of numbers in each grouping zero. Just like that. And then let's start by making this 0.5 and 0 0.5. Once you do that, it's going to resize the frame, and this is probably a little bit too large depending on what you want to do with it. But now if you resize it using the white squares, it automatically adjusts the first number in each grouping. So what this is going to do for us, it's going to make sure it looks good on all screen sizes. So what I did for mine to do the light gray color is just change the style to drop shadow. Feel free to customize it further by changing some of the other properties. Once you're done though, we're going to be inserting an image label. So click on the plus sign and then insert an image label. And I would recommend doing the same thing for the size property. So change the second two numbers to zero and then put something for the first set. Once you do that, go ahead and resize it to whatever shape you want to. Once you do that, we're going to be renaming it to player image. And the final thing we're going to be inserting is a text label. Go ahead and rename the text label to player name. And for this one, the only property that I think you should change is the text scale property. So go ahead and check this one. And then you're free to adjust any of the other properties that you want to. All right, so after you customize it, we're going to be adding a local script inside the frame. On this script, we're going to start by creating a variable for the frame. So we'll say local frame and that's going to be equal to script dot parent next we'll create a variable for the player we'll say local player and that's going to be equal to game dot players dot local player we're going to get the player's user id we'll say local user id and that's going to be equal to player dot user id the next variable we're going to create is going to store the thumbnail type. So we'll say local, and then we'll say thumb type. And that's going to be equal to enum dot thumbnail type. And then here there's a couple different options, and we'll go through and take a look at each one. For now, I'm going to choose the first one, which is avatar bust. We're going to set the size of the thumbnail. So we'll say local thumb size. And we're going to set that equal to enum dot thumbnail size and then we're going to say dot and for this one we're going to choose 420 by 420. For the last variable we're going to say local content and we're going to set that equal to game dot players and then we're going to say colon get user thumbnail. Inside the parentheses we're going to give it the user ID, we're going to give it the thumbnail type and the thumbnail size. So this variable right here is going to store the image that we just created. So to display it on the image label, we're going to say frame dot player image. And we're going to say dot image. And we're going to set that equal to content. And finally, to get the name, we're just going to say frame dot player name. So that's the name of the text label. And then we're going to set the text property equal to player dot name. And I just noticed I selected the wrong option for this one. So let me go ahead and change that real quick. So it should be this one right here. So get user thumbnail. Um, if you do get the extra parentheses, just go and delete those. And it should look like that. All right, so let's go and run the code now and check it out. All right, and there we go. So we have a GUI that displays the user's image and their name. Let's go and take a look at some of the other thumbnail types so you can decide which one is best for you. So instead of avatar bust, let's go ahead and try avatar thumbnail. Okay, so that's the avatar thumbnail, so it's a full body image. 
And let's go and check out the last one. And the last one is Headshot. And there we go, so that's a close-up on the head. Personally, I like the Avatar bust the best, but you can choose whichever one you like. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.